Oh, okay. It's very rare, though. Most Joel, people. you're on the air. I know. Look at that. Like, who do I look at? I don't That's, know. Look at the camera. Well, and then I just like. St- don't talk to me. It's, it's not even it's facing news. me. Yes, oh, it is. Yeah, okay. Look, you're on the air. It's news look. time. Yeah. It's news oh. time with Joel Evans. Yeah, I was going to have some I don't some get my music. fake little do 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 do. Yeah. We would yeah. love to give that for give that to you. <laughs> like we done. get no credits. She's already yeah. done. No credits, no. nothing on the screen. No, no, no crawl. No, no yeah, no transition. Nope. Let's do a blue screen. Transition to Joyelle's gonna do All those. they get to see is the Bob Evans bag. That's all they get to see. Yes. There we go. Hey okay, Joy. We're for real on news now. Okay, now last week I, I heard ahead. bad feedback about last week's news. Joyelle. <laughs> I'm listening. Focus. Focus. <laughs> I heard bad, bad, news. bad feedback about the news segment last week. That well, it was, what was wrong with my news segment? It was segment too then? short, was and too you short. didn't get enough airtime. That's what I heard. Now, did you well, write that on my Facebook page? Somebody As actually wrote that. On it. I else? still think you're pulling my leg. No, no, no. That's what I heard. So, okay. you have two and a half hours. Go. <laughs> and everyone shut off their TVs. Thank you. Um, well, first, let me bring up with this doggone, which... It's two G's, by the way, guys. Dog on. Dog gone. Adoptions. Dot um, org. The, the owner, or I'm so sorry, I forgot your name. Cindy. Marcy. 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 Marcy Cindy me that you can sponsor a dog. Really? Just like you know, you would sponsor a child in a foreign country. You can now sponsor a dog locally. Um, if you don't have the space to take one in yourself, but would still like to provide, mm. so it's definitely worth checking out. Just like Angelina Jolie. Collect one from every continent. That's I want to be one of her when kids. I do too. I get my own stop. boat. I'm waiting for her popularity to die down. I'm, I'm six so year old about her. and I already have my own plane. Okay. Here's somebody though that his popularity should not die down for a while. And actually this is from last week, but it's so good that I got to tell you guys. Are you talking about anyway. Mike again? And his popularity dying down? You're not talking about Mike, are you? This Mike? Yes. His popularity should not die down. That sounds it's like the point. dollar drafts is the one that's helping out that one. Yeah, I think so. All right. Whose popularity should <laughs> Lindsay not Lindsay Murray. Die? Does that name sound familiar at Who? all? Lindsay Murray. She is a freshman at Tippecanoe High School. A golfer. And Yep. Really? Yep. Oh, that's right. Tip News Guru over here. Um, in the history of golf, only four players have made a hole-in-one and a double eagle, which is three under par in one game. Now, not only now here's the thing: in high school games, you only have nine holes instead of 18. So she had half the amount of holes, and she did the same thing. Um, she had the hole in she had double eagle first, and then at the very end, she got a hole in one on her very last hole. And this has become like a huge deal. Of course, all the newspapers covered her. Even Dayton Daily picked it up. Um, ESPN, they would have covered it if they had video. They told Mr. Schomper, sorry, you didn't get a video of it, so it doesn't count. But Golf Week, Golf Digest, Today she's show. appearing in all that. She's on the Today Show? Yeah, she no. Did the, she did the Today Show. Are you kidding me? No, I thought that was Catherine Zimmerman. Mm-mm. No, she did. Yeah, they did a remote for, for her, you know, one of those couch wow. couch interviews. Couch yeah. thing. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's, it's huge. And she lives in Tip City. Hey, and Mike, did they use our set for the couch interview? They really should have used the Get Social. If we they had they a couch, maybe. Did they, yeah. u- they didn't use our set, though. Yeah, they could have Skyped in. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> um, and about the cool thing, too, about Lindsay, like, her dad is the coach, Scott. Her sister, Laura, it, Lauren, is a senior on the golf team. Her mom actually learned golf just so they could actually spend time as a family together. Like, she was telling me there was summer vacation. They went from tournament to tournament. Oh, stopped at Myrtle Beach, and then another tournament. Wow. I was like, okay. They're into golfing. No kidding. A lot. But obviously, she's really good at it. It's so. paid off. It worked out. That's one of the best scholarships, too, college scholarships, FYI, um, people that go are in high school right now. Are you talking uh, to your uh, kid? You're not talking to your kid, are you? No, no. Ladies golf. Okay. And uh, Ladies golf and then uh, guys tennis. Guys tennis. Um, yeah. No, I mean, there's, you know, if you do, if you're very good at either one of those sports, no, I mean, just go ahead, write yourself a check. It's a free to, ride. To, free, free ride. Free ride. Anywhere free you Free ride want. to college. Just like your Angelina Jolie's kid. <laughs> free ride. All right, let's go to the next news segment with Joy Elne Evans. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to just bring it along here. And now the news um, with Joy Elne Evans. 
Thanks again for that. You're welcome. So, you know, yay for Lindsay. Also, yay for Tip City in general. America in Bloom. We won. Now, we've been doing this since, I think, 2005 or 2006. We did. And Can we? Should we get Dave on here for five seconds to talk? Oh, actually, yeah, that'd be fine. Dave, can hey, we Wendy, have you ask on Dave here? if he'll come on for five seconds can to we talk have Dave for about five? Is he America in Bloom. Dave? Oh, okay. Okay. Skip okay, that. You want Do me to something skip next. That? Yeah. All right, see, well, if he'll, see if he'll come on, Wendy. Something else. Here's something else that you guys will find interesting, especially um, with your comment earlier this evening. About Mike. the plein air and the nude painting? No, no, no. I'm, I'm not going on the nude thing. Okay. We're, we're beyond. But I'm tuning But out. remember the legal fight between the city and warrior racing that like drained all this time and resources and stuff, which, by the way, uh, the court date to determine the attorney fees that TIP has to pay is December 6th and 7th. But now the school, the TIP Should we all schools, show up for that one, Mike? No. Like the Christmas lights? I don't think it's in tip, no. though. No. It's not a council thing. It's, it's not. Yeah, I don't thing. think that's. All right. So now the schools have their own situation. Uh-oh. They have oh, already no. spent $42,000 in a conflict with Steve and Catherine Huffman. Uh, okay. This is the first I've heard of this. Right. Well, me too. So here's the, here's the breakdown. So in May 2009, Tip City passed or the schools passed a resolution that it is impractical to transport students to Chaminade Julian. Did I pronounce that right? Charminade. Charminade. Sorry, not from here. It rhymes with promenade. Does it? Charminade. Chaminade? I always heard it as CJ. Chaminade. So ding cool dong. Chaminade. Ding. ding dong. Chaminade. Ding dong. <laughs> it's M Night Chaminade. 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 So anyways. They said it's impractical to transport the students because they would have to buy a bus at $80,000. Then they would have to maintain the bus and pay someone to drive the bus, and that's like $19,000. So instead... Could they use the new fire truck? Which we don't have. And share. No? Okay. okay. I'm what? just asking. So if there's a fire, then students were the like, students sorry, are, you're not going to school today. No, the we students would be trained to fight fires. God. Okay. No? So... The schools offer $189 a year as payment to families in lieu of transportation, right? Okay, what is CJ? The Dayton's Catholic school. school. Okay, good. The Charminade one. You got it. Catholic school. Um, Downtown. So then, and then in October, that was May, in October, they passed the same resolution, but they revise it so that it uh, has better legalese, what not to go with the Ohio Revised Code. Got well, it. the Huffmans get involved in this and they say, no, we don't want a payment. We actually need you to take our kids to CJ. In lieu of, so in lieu of transporting their children, they were just getting a cash payment. Right. And they the Huffman said no. preferred not to do that. Right. Okay. They challenged it. And actually, now the Huffmans were the only ones mentioned or the one on record or whatnot, but there have been four other challenges to this. Uh, I just want to highlight the numbers that Joyelle just mentioned is that a brand new school bus costs $80,000 mm -hmm. and they've already spent $42,000 in legal costs. Yes. So they have ha more than and half of a bus. And we're not done yet because they're going to file yeah, another there's objection. There's more than half of a bus already paid for, guys. You know, we, you know, we've talked about this, haven't we? We have at length <laughs> about this type Again, of thing. Again, it seems such a similar things. situation. But so you're saying there's 40 or 50 kids that their parents pay for them to go to tip schools, but they don't go to tip schools. So that's just extra. Yeah, there's St. Chris right there in Vandalia. But the tip schools right. keep that money. Yeah. Right. They so don't they, give they it don't. Yeah. So they're getting two grand a kid or Regardless whatever. Regardless of whether or not they ride the bus or not. Re whether or not they mm -hmm. show up at school that day yes. or not, they still keep that money Correct. for those students. So the only thing that these people are asking for is not tuition. They don't want cash payment. They, they want, want transportation. They want transportation. So it's all about transportation. Yeah. It has nothing to do with the property taxes. Now, I got to tell you guys, that is definitely an, either an Ohio thing or a Dayton thing. Because when I went to school, if you went to a private you went to school, school mm -hmm. a long time ago, like if you went to a private school, that was it. You had to get your own self you there. You had to get yourself like, there. There was no yeah. buses. There was either your parents drive you or your walk. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I that's, I'm hearing from the control room. That's right. <laughs> so. I don't well, know who that was. It didn't right, sound well, like Dave. I think we're almost done here. Yeah. So let me just say real quick about Tip City. Congratulations. They won first place for the first time in America in Bloom. Yay. It's been a long time coming, guys, and congratulations. Yay. Woo. Does Dave want to come on? He said no. Is he busy? Okay. So we're just going to mention uh, thanks goes out to co-chairs Georgia Bayman and Dave Wirtz. Yes, Spring absolutely. Hill Nursery. They work really hard to get that all yeah. done every year. Yeah, because that's that was the big deal. They actually announced it at council this past week because the city eliminated their funding. It yes. used to be a split, basically. Mm -hmm. Uh, and they eliminated their funding back in 2008, thinking the program would go under. And Georgia and Dave and all the people that work with them <laughs> said, 
Nope, we want to keep it around. Well, how do they, who paid, isn't there a fee to be involved in it? There is. Like right, so they have raised the money. They raised the money. City didn't pay that this year? Nope. City hasn't paid it for two years now. So that's like Three an entry years. fee, right? Who paid that this year? They just raised funds and paid for it themselves? Mm-hmm. It was Hello. A, yeah, this was a Dave Collinsworth project that he, he started He loved off. that, yeah. Yeah, he that really was did. one of his things. So hats off to Dave Collinsworth. You got to win. Good job, Dave Collinsworth, who can't hear us in Columbus. Hey. We'll, we'll chop that and part out and put it on YouTube. Um, took the time to plant plants and make Tip City look beautiful. The judges for many years have said how much they appreciate coming here. So. They do. Yes. We won a national award, people. Yeah, we Fantastic. did. Yep. Good job, Dave. Yes. Dave. He's, he's on the phone. <laughs> okay. Is You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks for the news, Joy. I had no nothing problem. to do with Hopefully it. Hopefully you were not short shrift. Do you have a no, couple? I, I feel like. How much time do we have there, Jack? We got like three minutes left, so you you got any more? I've oh, got three yeah. minutes. Um, let me give you a weekend roundup. Okay, first Mike, of all, I apologize. Go. Oh. Okay, go. Last Four weekend minutes. was not Tip Homecoming. That would be this weekend. No, I got to confuse with another yeah. school. That's this weekend. So this weekend they are playing Bellefontaine. The Powder Puff game is tonight, and actually afterwards there's going to be a bonfire. So those who are watching live, if you want to head over to the middle school parking lot, there'll be a giant flame. Thursday nights. Tonight. Tonight. Okay, <laughs> Tonight. Um, there's Just also look a, for the giant flame. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. There's also a parade tomorrow uh, in the pregame activities at 630. Um, oh, and here's another thing. So the homecoming dance, of course, is for high schoolers, but is this the they've decorated Hawkins? it. No, this is homecoming. They've, their theme is Candyland, and they've decorated Sweet. it with gingerbread houses made by the industrial technology class. So from 11.30 to 1.30 on Saturday, they're opening the gym up so the public can come in and see these gingerbread houses. Nice. Are they yes. made out of gingerbread? Considering no. the industrial technology no. class industrial made it? industrial tech, it's wood. That would be stuff. like home economics. But you don't cut those with a saw. But home ec filled those gingerbread houses with 700 cupcakes. Nice. Greg, so you should go and check it out. If I trip and fall on one, do I get to eat it? <laughs> if you put your finger on it, whoops. Nick, I it. keep touching these. <laughs> Oops. God, are we done yet? <laughs> I've fallen again. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay. On Saturday, let's Anybody see. got a napkin? <laughs> the big band sentimentalists are playing at the Roller Mirror at 7.30 p.m. Nice. Um, every Saturday in October in the morning, Upper Valley Medical Center will have a walk-in clinic for athletic injuries. Mm. Uh, it's mm. at the Hyatt Center from 9 athletic to 10.30 supporters. in the morning. And then there's the ghost walk on Saturday evenings. Now, you don't have to RSVP for that. You just show up in front of Browse a while, right? It's $5 for a ticket. If It's $3 a ticket if you bring a canned good. Or so ghost. remember that. If you bring a ghost or a canned good, it's $3. There you go. So come on out. I'll be there. Um, I'll Bill, be there. I want to go. Bill from Bob Evans will be there with us. Sweet. So, yeah. Will really you be good. giving out coffee to all the uh, walkers? <laughs> I doubt that. Uh, I doubt that. No cobbler, unless you bring a ghost. <laughs> I'm not coming. That's He'll give done. you a warm welcome if you show up at Bob Evans, though, for breakfast. Yes, next he morning. will. Yes, he will. That's right. And what's on the 16th? Oh, that's the Harvest Fest. But yes. I, there's, oh my gosh, there's so much stuff going on next stuff. weekend, oh, so I'm going to have to spend like a whole five Harvest minutes. Harvest Fest, time. though, they're selling tickets on that, so get them at the chamber. That's right. Get there, them at the chamber. Yeah. That's our Let's big go thing. back to my camera. Go back to my cam um, <laughs> that camera. There you Thank go. Thank you. Thank you again for listening. This is episode 67 of the Six Get Social Show. Are you kidding show. me? 67. Really? Yes. 67 well, since episodes. Last week was 66, Greg. It Never been paid. To follow. Never been paid. Never, what? Never taken a dime. Never taken a dime. <laughs> I did get free coffee, though. Every once in a while, we get free coffee. That's it's right. It's a beautiful Next thing. Next week, we're going to be... Is, uh, 68. Our, our, yeah, 68. On the yeah. 14th, we're well, going to have a political show. I can do math. Yeah, yeah we're going to have, uh, hopefully we'll have Bill Beagle on and uh, Dave Mahalio, mm. uh, politicians running for office on November 2nd. You can all elect them or, or choose to not elect them, um, but we'll, they'll be here to talk about their stuff. Um, their stuff. If you enjoyed there our show today. They're political messages, Good Greg. One, Mike. Yes. They're going to talk about their stuff. <laughs> if you enjoyed our show, please check it out at GetSocialRadio.com or become our friend at Facebook.com. Mike, I have a new GetSocial. idea. Let's just keep talking until she cuts us off and goes to the city council. That'll be funny. Wouldn't that be funny? City council comes funny? on after no, us? No, it's township. Who Is plans it township? this? So who's who's Ron, after this? Ron Tuma and Phil Cox. Oh, that'll be great. Three, two, one. Later. Remember to keep, keep it social. <laughs> It's good stuff. It man. would be more exciting if it cut yeah. to 